What's up, StarCraft fans? This video is brought to you by Lucina Superius, who is supporting in Patreon. Pulse Cannon to your supporters or higher, guaranteed one video redemption per month. This month, he requested a, uh, an interesting one. Okay, the challenge reads a three or a play three Nexus copy taters I haven't played before. So that's the first one. Play three of those Nexus copy taters that I haven't played yet. One or two, at least one of them has to spawn something. And it doesn't need to be difficult as the heretics, so uh, one has to spawn something, like I need to fight extra enemy units. The uh, the rest of them have to buff the enemies. So uh, one, at least one, one or two of them uh, spawn extra enemy units, the other two buff the enemies. And the other challenge is I have to name the video based on the three betaters I picked and I have to solo it so I can pick easy betaters so once again custom arcade nexus co-op create lobby start game way through loading screen and for this one we're going with void launch and my commander will be zero Gestalt Zero, which is quite on the nose because I also have Zero who will be critiquing whatever I played. So, for this one, the mutators I selected are, I believe it's, let me check, <laughs> it's Absolute Dominance. So the hybrids and enemy mission targets are resistant to damage. And ally mission targets are more vulnerable, rather. Ally mission targets are more vulnerable to damage. So, uh, units like Orana's transport, the the harvesting bots, the the evacuation ships on minor, minor evac are more vulnerable to damage. But enemy targets like Mobius train, the evacuation ships here on on uh, uh, Void Launch and the Void Shards are more resistant to damage. So they are harder to kill. So we will also have Deadly Companion. This is the one that spawns stuff. So enemy hybrids gain various minions to enhance them based on their type. So the hybrids will spawn extra enemy units that we have to fight. Or, you know, extra things that we have to deal with. And finally, we will have the... Endurance training. Enemies gain increased life as the game progresses. So how I understand it, the, how I understand this is, the later the game goes, like the game time, not the, not the, uh, time of the units from when they spawn. They'll just enemies will just gain increasing health, the later the game goes. So all of these spectators are geared toward making me or making it very difficult to destroy the hybrid. Therefore, I have named this mutation, I can't kill the hybrid. Or to be on more YouTube friendly terms, I can't smash the hybrid. So there we go. Anyway, Zero is my commander, but he's also the one who will be critiquing my play. So he's on the call with us today. How are you today, Zero? I'm doing fine. How about awesome. yourself? I am very sleepy. I'm not sure if it comes through on camera, but I, my left eye stings a little bit i have i wonder if i have some sort of conjunctivitis which will make it annoying to have to go to work you know i might uh, infect you but looks like it's fine i hope it's fine anyway so yes i am playing as gestalt zero i actually forgot to tell you the BT the masteries i picked but basically i want these these base stations to activate faster I want the Stormfall drop pods to activate quicker. Uh, and the last one, I want the the squads to take less damage. So how this commander plays, you can see I can deploy these airstrikes or these... They're not really airstrikes, they're more like reconnaissance. They're more like reconnaissance flights. So I can basically just scan the map, like a huge section of the map, by flying these air airplane things. And as far as I know, they also provide some sort of detection. Do they? Yes, they do. Awesome. So yes. 
So how this commander plays is you start with these guys, these squads, and you capture these base stations scattered all around the map. When you capture a base station, it will increase the rate at which you harvest and give you these these uh, toxic toxic resource stacks, which will allow you to buy mech units. Is, is, isn't that right? Some mech units are from the factory. Yeah. Uh, but you need the 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 resource, the the nuclear, the, the toxic resource to actually be able yes. to afford them. So once you have the base station, you can also upgrade the rate at which they harvest by using these top bars. So my build is I've started with a barracks here, and I've gone with marines. So how I increase the number of troops I have is I can drop them from the starfall, and also on the units themselves I can buy extra companions so you can see the the infiltrator squad I had initially now has two companions I buy them from the bottom right of the command card so I just click that and I will get an extra companion like so I can also change their weapons by clicking this this ability here on the rightmost on the center right and then uh, well obviously they get stronger as they get closer to the bottom row and well, I'm just I'm just scanning the entire map. How, what do you think of that strategy? Just using the free airstrikes to scan the entire map. It's good. You definitely want to know where the stations are. Awesome. The problem is this is like my twelfth attempt. I counted. This is like my twelfth attempt. It's like I already know where the base stations are. <laughs> So I was wondering, did I really need to do that? Or is this some, some, something like a force of habit <laughs> at this point? <laughs> I don't know. It feels more like the latter. <laughs> but you know. Because if you know where they are, there's no point really. <laughs> but I guess it's better than wasting them by not using them. Right? <laughs> it's just... I, I, I'm not really good at playing Nexus, Nexus Cop Commanders, so I just, I just kind of do whatever my muscle memory will allow me to do. <laughs> so anyway, the first upgrade I got from the, from, the, uh, from the Air Force Command is the one that will give this space station the invulnerability field. Do you think that's a good choice? I'd say not early, just because you kind of want the top burst so you can push in and get more stations. That is fair. However, look at me just not dying. Isn't that also a great thing? It is. <laughs> I've also now selected the the weapon that gives these infiltrator squads or the ghost, the spooky boys, extremely long range as you can see. And I'm just getting more and more companions for my marine dudes. But yes, point taken. I am now starting the uh, the nuke upgrade. Actually, it's it's been started for a while. Yeah, I'm now researching the nuke upgrade. The blue ball thing. The third top bar. That's the laser. one, right? Yeah, the laser. I just call it a, a nuke. <laughs> Although yeah, they're both nuke nukes. The other one. Yeah, they're both nukes. But, like, the third one is more like an orbital-based nuke, and the fourth one is more like an air airstrike-based nuke. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> anyway, I use the third one here. So I don't have to deal with the I don't have to deal with the main objectives. You can deploy the third top bar without need for vision, and that's what I've chosen to go for. So I can focus on the the seven minute thirty attack wave when I have to fight it. Probably not ideal. What do you think? No, no, no. Let's just clear our base with this and go for this station. That's true. That's another option yeah, you could have gone for. Uh, unit in the middle oh yeah that's true like, I, I could have yeah. dropped a unit here and claimed that that's right that's very good input so yeah, you can see on 18 gas and you could probably deploy Ragnarok then so yeah. I think he's 18 but I don't think I have the factory yet it's not yet built unfortunately I'm trying to focus on getting the resource upgrades whenever I can like just make me I'm just I'm just being very greedy here just getting more and more resource upgrades and getting companions so I haven't actually started the factory yet because I don't actually have that in my muscle memory 
So that's a limitation. That's definitely a skill issue. We all agree that's a skill issue. But what can we do? <laughs> what can I do? Uh, that, that, that's very good input. I could have actually deployed any unit here to just capture this base station and gather even more money. Next time, if I have to play this again, which I probably will, I will do that. If I remember. <laughs> which I won't. <laughs> Oof, I think I'm about to lose a Marine. Yeah, I did lose a Marine. That's unfortunate. So I will have this nuke top bar. And I believe I'll use it on... On this main objective. But right around here. When it crosses the left enemy base. So at least that is a bit more strategic. I think. But it's probably a wiser idea to just use it here in this attack wave probably a wiser idea then but you know uh, i'd say using on the base is better if you run a unit in later on to capture the station that's right there yeah you don't even have to maintain it just capturing it and get the gas is worth it already that's true yeah you can see I, I used the top bar on a portion of the base and it took out a big chunk of the shuttle's health now I have to just chase it. And they will go down. Because my are really powerful. I have Nexus Cop units. So they're like really good. Thank you, for your help. you can see I'm kind of maxed out now. Shut 70 out of 70. Factory has completed. I, could, I, could, I should probably call down the Raven now. But I don't have the, I don't have the teleport ability yet, so it, it'll just be a raven. It won't really be able to teleport me anywhere. That's kind of sad. So I target down the liberators, but you can see that these point defense drones, these defensive drones, are protecting the hybrids as well as the liberators that made them hard to kill. So I probably took on more losses than I had to. So that's the, that's the mutator for those hybrids the hybrid the uh, what are they again destroyers, destroyers I believe yeah the hybrid destroyers they have point defense drones and for other hybrids they do other things so we'll see more of that later on you could be scanning the enemies with the falcon reconnaissance because that makes them take extra damage oh I did not know that okay I actually did not know that. Next time I will do that. That's very good input. Once again. As you can see I'm now researching all of the Raven upgrades. Starting from the, the instant teleport one. Do you think I should... I, I should have... This is the correct priority. Start with the teleport one first. Or should I do a different one You're first? You're going for Ravens. Yeah, I'd say teleport is the important one. Alright. I'm glad we agree. That makes me not a complete idiot at this mutation anymore. Or at this game mode. I've chosen to go for the laser right on top of the ghost academies. Right as the shuttles fly by. So I don't have to deal with the, the nukes anymore. But I, what I didn't know was that there were more ghost academies here somewhere. Here at the very back. The northwest corner of the map. There's another ghost academy. Where they probably built more nukes. As you will see that. Okay. So you can see the air hybrid has the healing drones. That you see from the from the carrier. Carax's carrier has those repair drones. And that's what they have on the air hybrid. Again, more defensive drones on these hybrids. The hybrid destroyers. But once the destroyers are dealt with, we can easily delete all these enemies. Not easily, but because they still have the beat hitter that makes them hard to kill. Or harder to kill. I drop down another Robin here. Mostly just to use the toxic thing. On the enemies. Destroying these bases so I can clear out the way to this base station. Okay, there was a spooky boy here. However, you can see that these base station, these base, these bomber platforms 
Oh wait, the base station itself is a detector. So it can actually see the spooky boy. And the bomb platforms I put on here were able to destroy that spooky boy. Ah, okay. When they played this, I didn't actually know if the ghost had been taken care of. So now seeing it in real in replay uh, makes me realize that these base or these bomb platforms are actually a good investment. Uh, by the way, I left the infiltrator squads to activate this base station on the last on the last bonus. That's pretty okay. Another nuke coming in. But that was taken care of swiftly. I have put down more bomber platforms here to deal with this attack wave coming for the bonus. And down goes that attack wave. I by the way I put down all my I put down all my base stations in a separate control group so I can kinda check whether there, there are available stuff to upgrade. And apparently I'm just kinda neglecting it in favor of actually fighting the main objectives because no one else is there to do it for me. Those bomber platforms are able to bite me sometimes. That's pretty nice, I guess. Is there an active ability on these robins that I should be using? That I just am not? No, it's just the teleport. It's just the teleport. Okay. So I shouldn't be using them to fight like this because I would probably lose them. One of them has very low yeah. health already. Yeah, I wouldn't go Ravens here at all. I'd probably just go Ragnarok. Yeah. The problem is I don't have enough gas. The gas, this middle resource for that. It's called gas, but I call it the nuke resource or the toxic resource. Because that's what the icon is. It's not gas. <laughs> that's the funky part. Apparently it's called the Uranium Core. Uranium Core. That's very... That is very Nexus Co-op like. So once again, I have the laser top bar. But I believe I will save that to fight the 1920 attack wave. So for now, I will just... I like how, I, I like how it heals itself. The Overseer heals itself. Okay. I got some sort of vision there. I don't know how, but I got some sort of vision there. Okay, you can see the hybrids once again have that armor. I believe I will miss. I I, I think I, I I believe I will completely miss the top bar. Let me see. Yeah, I used it on here, expecting them to go through the center, but they just go through the other side. So that was a complete whiff. So you can see the hybrid dominators have the symbiotes that will give them a whole lot extra armor, and also I believe the symbiotes also attack. They do attack, right? Right. I'm not actually sure. We will see, I guess. Like yeah, uh, I know Abathur's symbiotes. Yeah, they do attack. Look, yeah, the symbiotes yeah. do shoot. So what I have to do is destroy this hybrid. Yeah, it does gain the symbiote armor. That's so funky. They're so hard to kill. I mean, I can't destroy them, but they're very hard to destroy. Again, the YouTube title, or the YouTube, yeah, the YouTube title. And the mutator name or the mutation name are the same. And to make it sufficiently clickbaity, I chose I can't delete the hybrid or I can't smash the hybrid. I haven't quite finalized on the wording yet, but I wanted to make it YouTube friendly, you know? Oh, I think Ally, our, our time is kind of helping a little bit here. There's a spooky boy that's uh, fighting my allies' drones. And of course, instead of summoning like a base or a. Uh, what is this thing called? The one in the factory. Basically, an empty, an empty base or an empty uh, uh, storm, stormfall drop pod. Yeah, the the this first one, the factory. Instead of something that like a normal person, I just teleport my entire army, wasting a one minute cooldown, because that's how I that's how I roll. <laughs> in Nexus Cup, at least, I am the idiot. So zooming out, you can see that these hybrids are being deleted because the Nexus Cop guys are really strong. If I if I were to play this using a regular Cop guy, Tychus might be an okay choice, but I know Tychus doesn't really scale well in the ultra late game when the enemies are super buff. And that's something that I'd probably have to contend with. Okay, I have these missile turrets. These 
Gestalt Overwatchers to shoot down the last of the hybrid. They are hard to destroy, or the shuttle rather, the, the last shuttle. They are hard to destroy, but they will go down nonetheless. By the way, the Psychos now have 600 health. That is that, uh, that is that endurance training mutation or mutator in action. They're, they're very high health in this stage of the game. What do you think about how I've been playing so far? I, I guess your basic input is that I have not been aggressive enough. I should have that very back base station at least, right? With Zero, you have to be very aggressive for the station to yeah. unlock them as early as possible. Yeah. I tried that. When I practiced this without mutators, I did get all seven? Eight? Well, all of them. I got all of them. But like... When I play with different mutators, I realize that, by the way, the shuttles now have not a thousand shields and 1332 health. So they have basically 22, 2200 health or 2300 health. That's very chunky. That's extremely chunky. The missile turrets are doing an extremely good job of shooting them down. But like, you can only do so much. My units are the actual damage dealers, and they are dealing appropriately with all these things, but unfortunately, my sh my missile turrets have started to retarget the enemies instead of the shuttles, and I wasn't able to notice that in time. I wasn't able to pick that up in time. So now, my only objective is to just teleport here in the last objective, and just kind of right-click the shuttles. And remember, they have 2300 health to right with them so they would go down and end the mission there we go all right A well victory. The have been so that is the mutation so what are your final feedback I, I, aside from you know be more aggressive so the build order the game could do some I guess adjusting like I'd say you start with a barracks just to get your first unit out, just so you can start capturing two stations at once. Was that not what I They're got? To... I did. Oh, no, wait. You... I went for an, uh, an escort first before the barracks. So I should go back yes. for escort. All right. Fair point. Uh, what else? Um, your Marines are on tier two weapons instead of tier three. So definitely oh. late game. I, for for once. I forgot to switch to tier three. That is true. Okay. Uh, anything else? I'd say for like buffed enemies, go for the other mech units instead of ravens because you don't really need mobility here that much. Yeah. Okay. So the main feedback is be more aggressive. Uh, prioritize barracks over escort. Uh, and don't go for too many ravens. You only kind of need one. I went for the second one here so I can have two teleports, but point taken i should just grab more base stations and go for the the ragnarok the giant mech thing and the last one is uh remember to get tier three for my marines all right guys uh that is it for this week for this mutation hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching if you have an idea for it also please leave that in the comment i'll see you guys next time